Welcome to the Great Garment Graphics video training series. In this session, we're going to create our own transfers and cut out the design using the Optic Eye Registration System and Cut Studio software. Now let's go over to the software. Now we are in our Cut Studio software. For this session, we're going to import a JPEG picture. We'll go to My Pictures, select the design. When Cut Studio imports a JPEG, it imports it at a very large size. No problem. Just go up to Properties, and we'll change the dimensions. Make sure the Keep Aspect is checked. And we're going to change the width to 7 inches. We're going to select our Move button to move the graphic to the lower left-hand corner, and our Fit button so we can see the entire graphic. Now this is a little personal preference of mine. I am going to move the uh, design a little bit away from the edges. Now we have to put a cut line around the design. We do this by right clicking on the design, selecting image outline. And there's an alignment image density bar that you can slide left or right depending on the, on the graphic. But everything looks pretty good, so we're just going to select extract contour lines, say OK. And as you can see, it put a nice, clean, smooth cut line around the design. I use my Control Z key to put it back in place. Now this design, we're going to put onto a black shirt. I want a little bit of white area showing all the way around the design. So we are going to go up to Object, select Offset, and change our offset on the outside to 0 0.05. Click OK. I'm going to click off the design, select the inner image outline, and hit delete. Now we have a nice fine white out, outline all the way around the design. Now I'm going to go up to File and select Print and Cut and turn on our Print and Cut feature, and you can see the crop marks appear. Now the image can be on the outside of the crop marks, but you can't extend it too far to interfere with the grip rollers on the cutter itself. And we're ready to go to printing. So now we select print. In this case, it's a brother desktop printer. Say OK, and it'll print the design out along with the crop marks. But it will not uh, print the cut line. Then we go to cutting. And in this case, it's a GX24. If we say OK, then we'll cut out the design. So let's go on over to the machine and see it cut. This is the Roland GX24 cutter. I'll zoom in so we can see the grip rollers. The one on the left has to be under a wide white stripe. The one on the right also has to be under a white stripe. We'll insert the paper so the crop marks will be lined up with the white stripe on the bottom of the machine. Once in place, we'll lock it into place, hit enter. Now it measures the width of the material. We we'll go back to the computer, and on the computer we'll select cutting. My print and cut feature is turned on, so once we select cutting, you can see the optic guide turns on. It looks for the op for the crop mark on the left, the one on the right, and the one on the back. That's how it lines up the cutting line. And now it follows whatever cut line you put onto the design. And once we're finished cutting, we'll take the paper out of the machine. And we are ready to go weed. Let's go over and do some weeding. Weeding is the process of removing any excess material that is not part of the design. To do this, you'll need some kind of a pick tool. This particular tool looks like a dental pick and it has a very sharp point to it for taking out inside of cavities, inside of letters like O's and A's and E's. And another pick tool that people like 
is using the tweezers. Now these tweezers they have very sharp points to them, again for taking out inside cavities. Here you can see the process of the excess material being removed. And there it is removed. Now we have our design all weeded out and we're ready to go to the heat press. Now we're going to heat apply the graphic to the shirt. First thing we recommend is preheating to remove any moisture from the shirt. We also recommend using a cover sheet to keep the shirt nice and clean. Now we're preheating. I'll place your graphic onto the shirt and again we recommend covering it with a cover sheet to protect it and to keep the shirt clean. Now we're doing our heat application. Remove the cover sheet and there's our finished product. If you remember in the beginning of the presentation we put a little white border around the design to make it stand out on the dark shirt. For a list of products used in this presentation, please contact us. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please let us know. Also check for a Great Carmen Graphics Seminar in your area.